I saluted the bravery of the Afghan women because the only resistant force since Taliban took over power is the women of Afghanistan. We've just been hearing from Lynn about the the really dire set of circumstances that women in Afghanistan find themselves in. Just give us your your reflections on on what you see happening now. Thank you. Uh, Whatever Lynn says, it's absolutely the truth. This is the sad (laughs) story of the people of Afghanistan and particularly the women of Afghanistan, that every single day we are facing new rules, um, new orders by Taliban. Taliban are constantly trying to eliminate women of Afghanistan. Already, they eliminate us. They took the right from us as a being a civilian, as a being a part of our society, from work, job, education, higher education, freedom of movement, freedom of expression, uh, even what we should dress, including which color. It's sad for anyone to understand the situation of Afghan women that you don't have even the liberty and a choice of the color, which, which color you want to put on yourself or showing your face. This is the most unique thing which is happening in front of billions of people in the world, in the globe, that women, anchors, they must cover their face And they should come on the TV and they should present the news and other programs. I salute the bravery of the Afghan women because the only resistant force since Taliban took over power is the women of Afghanistan. Plus some militaries. But that resistant force where Taliban claiming they defeat US, they defeat NATO. But at the end, they cannot defeat women of Afghanistan with empty hands. Mm. I mean, incredibly harrowing but powerful words there. And I presume as well, the women who are providing this challenge and resistance, I presume they are paying a heavy price for that. You can't believe the price that today the people of Afghanistan, particularly the women of Afghanistan, is paying. It's Taliban systematically. They, they realise by their orders, women couldn't stop their 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 voices. We didn't give up. So even they give order to the men that do not let those women, why you think if they are not wearing a proper dress code according to the Taliban. So it seems that they are proposing the people of Afghanistan and they are supporting more domestic violence. The price, yes, because a girl wants to be educated. She was been in a Taliban prison for the two months. A ex-police woman, till today, and the nine months we don't know where she is exactly. A three student of university, their head was been cut it, without any court, without any crime. It seems that being a woman is a criminal. That is, that is, that's a kind of systematically gender-based violence is going on in Afghanistan, but everyone is just keeping silence mm. and everyone is not paying attention what's exactly going on. And Shukriya, I mean, I, I can hear the anger and the emotion and the frustration in your voice. You're sat right in front of me. I can see it in your face. I can see it in your eyes. I mean, how does it make you feel that, you know, it was only last August when suddenly America and all these Western forces just left Afghanistan, all eyes were on Afghanistan, we were reporting it 24-7 in the news, and now it's sort of silence and, 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 it's, and it is women who are paying the price, not just women, but women are paying a heavy price. I mean, how does that make you feel? Very bad. I feel they betrayed us. I feel I understand the circumstance and the situation of Ukraine, but in the meantime... Afghanistan was a place we work with U.S., with NATO, shoulder to shoulder for 20 years. And this is the price that women were paying today. It's just simply because the Taliban think we've been a good allies. We've been under, let's say, democratic system flags. We've been living in a country where for 20 years the foreign troops was there. I think that silence is not acceptable. I'm urging the politician Please stand with the people of Afghanistan. Please be the voice of Afghan women. 
please realize the circumstances, the situation of Afghanistan. A fewer present wars in Afghanistan, Ukraine and Europe will may not be in a war as today as it is. So please, it's time to realize and understand how Afghanistan was and is and will be important. And particularly, Domna of Afghanistan deserve to be supported. Mm. They deserve to be recognized. They deserve to get... Um, a political platform. They deserve to uh, their voice to be heard. It's time that we should share our solidarity and commitment, not only for the women of Afghanistan, but for those democratic beliefs and thoughts which we believe it's 21st century and every single individual deserves. 